How should I study for the GRE? There are a lot of myths floating around about studying. We've debunked some of them. I tell people to focus on three things. So first is the content. And this is a bigger deal on the quant side of the test. So you do want to make sure that you've seen all of the concepts that are going to be tested. On the verbal side, you do want to make sure that you're familiarizing yourself with the primary vocabulary that you'll be expected to know. Focus on content. You want to learn the material and understand it before you start to fret a lot about your timing. Really make sure you actually learn the content and don't just do a bunch of practice tests or a bunch of practice problems. Studying on the quant side usually involves refreshing yourself on some of that high school math that you may well have forgotten over the years. It turns out math does not come up all that much in real life. Shocker. And so going to a resource that has a lot of just instruction, explanation on the major topics tested on the GRE. So the second piece beyond content is strategy. So you also need to make sure that you've got a strategy for every question type, both quant and verbal. Uh, the biggest tip I have there is to use a review log. Uh, one of the most common misconceptions I see from people is they think, they can just do like hundreds or thousands of practice problems and that's how they'll get better. And what are you looking for in that review? You're looking for lessons that, that are to be learned for how to approach problems in the future. If I see a similar problem to this one in the future, first of all, how will I recognize that it is a similar problem? It's gonna have different words. And second of all, when I see that similarity, what approach aligns with that type of problem? I would get some solid strategy guides like the Manhattan Prep Strategy Guides for the Quant and Verbal, as well as the famous five pound book that we have. Always with one eye kind of focused on the strategic side of preparing for the test. You know, this is, uh, yes, there's a math part of the test and there's a verbal part of the test, but it's really overall a test of strategic thinking. So preparing for that as you go along. And then the third piece is to make sure that you've got a strategy for timing. Again, both at the question level and for the entire exam. You want to do a mix of timed mixed practice. So practice where you're timing yourself and the questions that you're doing are covering a variety of topics. So like geometry and algebra and exponents, all of it mixed up. Then you're working on your timing. So you're doing mixed timed sets and you're reviewing them very carefully and you're practicing going really, really fast. You're going so fast that you feel like you're going to fall out of your seat. Those are the three steps. If you liked this video, subscribe. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.